Hello friends, welcome back to my beautiful gardening life. This is Alsi, and today we are going to try to propagate a Cecestis mirabilis uh, plant, uh, which you might have already seen in my previous uh, videos, maybe about four or five months back. Uh, it leaves amongst other plants of mine, like they all live together as one big jungle so in that i noticed there was this runner that was going through and uh, what i clearly remembered was one leaf and another runner with another leaf but uh, with recent inspection i noticed there was still a longer runner which has given out a beautiful leaf this is it and it has already matured and there is still another one that is like coming up uh, so I also noticed that it had uh, developed its nice root system so I've decided to uh, propagate this uh, given that there are only two ways you can propagate this plant one is through uh, runners by snipping them off and the other one is through seeds when this plant uh, flowers it's a normal spadix and spatty kind of a flower that you get for this plant also what am I going to do is I have snipped it as in I while twisting and turning around I already broke kind of the runner so I'm going to cut it off from there and tell you about the kind of soil mix that I have used. It is a beautiful plant not easily available but then if you do look out for them you get them and today only I was inquiring with somebody uh, she did mention that she has it so it is quite uh, there and available okay to share the soil mix with you I've used 50% of my garden soil uh, another 20-25% I have used my vermic compost and the balance is in a form of uh, cocoa husk chips or chunks I've used perlite I have used charcoal bits so it is making it a very aerated and well draining uh, soil here it is already potted after this keep it under indirect sunlight uh, for about two days time otherwise also this plant of mine enjoys bright indirect sun for about two hours in a day otherwise it's completely uh, shaded area also watering happens only when the topmost layer of the soil goes dry. This is a lovely beautiful plant which adds a lot of dimension and interest in the garden. So when you see this wonderful leaves amongst others, it's kind of beautiful. I thank you so much for watching this. Thank you. Bye.